Hello fellow dispatchers, owner operators. Um, I have this tool that I would like to share with you uh, that anybody who's dealing with freight uh, or dealing with brokers should definitely have. Uh, someone like me, I'm an independent dispatcher. I cannot pick up the phone and talk to a broker if I don't have the spreadsheet in front of me. It is very, very important um, that you have it. So this is how it works. Um, it has uh, seven days. Let me delete this in the past. And seven days, Monday to Sunday. And for Monday, let's say you have uh, three drivers uh, looking for work, John Smith, Carlos, and Carl. So automatically, as soon as I select their names, it gives me a bunch of information about them. Their truck, their trailer, phone number, MC, in case of, like me, I'm an independent dispatcher. I have different MCs when I deal with the owner operators. But I know the empty times right here. And noon. Location, let's say they're all in Chicago for the sake of an experiment. In Chicago. Here destination. Uh, for example, John Smith, and here I have their hometown. See this? This is their own where they live. So it's, apparently it's, uh, John Smith just leave in home. So he doesn't really care where to go. He just want to make money. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Carlos needs to get to Dallas. It's home time for him. So I'm going to put Dallas here. Could be home time. Could be like you have a load waiting somewhere. And you need to go get a customer load or anything else. Uh, this guy is going to Houston. Okay, so you come in Monday, you're already ha gonna have this ready for you like this because these are loads getting empty from Friday or Saturday or what have you. <clears throat> so in this case, I found Chicago. I'm calling, start calling brokers and I found the load and load board. Uh, load from Chicago to Toledo, Ohio. Right away, I got front deadhead zero, total of miles 243, all in miles 243. Deadhead, there is nothing because we didn't put a destination here, so there is no back deadhead. So I'm talking to the broker, he gives me a rate of $800. Right away, I know he's making $3.29 a mile. Okay. Uh, like it, I can book it. Once I book it, mark it booked, move on. So he's gonna be in Toledo, right? Toledo is going to be next day. So I'm going to mark him right there here. John Smith for Toledo. And I'm trying to get him to Chicago. Again, you don't have to put the destination if uh, your driver doesn't care or you're just trying to make money. Uh, so delivery probably 7 a.m. So he's going to be... And, well, if broker says delivery at 7 a.m., so I'll probably give him a couple hours to deliver and be ready for me for my next load. Uh, let's say Carlos Ortega, Dallas, uh, Chicago to Dallas. I got him a load. Got on the phone. The broker is telling me there is Milwaukee to Garland, Texas. <clears throat> right away, I got a 92 miles in the front. 18 in the back, loaded miles 994, all miles 1,104 1, miles. Broker is giving me 1,500, for example. Now that's $1.36. My owner operator wants $1.50. So I can, I can fight for it. Let's see, 1,600 is going to give me what? $1.45, 1650 Okay, I'm pretty close. Now I can start giving my rate to the broker. So yeah, and even if you made a mistake, look at this Milwaukee and misspelled it, it still calculated it. Uh, all this data comes from Google Map. So in the back, Google Map is doing all the work to get you all this. It's all free. Uh, it's all Google Sheet is free. Uh, all these calculations are free and everything. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to book this guy, booked. And then Garland, I know it's two day run. So I'm going to move him to Wednesday. What's his name? Carlos. So I'm just going to go to Carlos right here. I'm going to put B. 
BTA is going to be free probably by 10 a.m. And he's in Garland. I'm getting organized. Garland, he wants to come back to Chicago. Or I can leave it empty as I, again. So that's, and most importantly, this, with Google Sheet, you can share it with brokers and you can share it with your bosses. So if you want to hide any of this information, it's possible. You just you right click and you click hide here and you will hide the common highlights. Some companies don't want to share their phone number, uh, driver's phone numbers with the brokers, but you can work with that. Your bosses can see that. They can see what you're doing. You're doing great. Your miles are good. Your rates are good. It does help you make quick decision and efficient really on on the money uh, yeah so yeah and that's how it works at the end of uh, the end of the week when this whole thing is filled up you can just uh, move all this to the archive I can show you how uh, you move all the all these loads you move them over here with the rates and everything and you have a clean sheet again and you start over uh, so if you like it please uh, I can even uh, give you a link you can download this whole thing uh, just send me your email, find me, I'm going to put a description on my contacts, uh, find me, like me on Facebook, uh, like my video, I really appreciate it, um, and uh, next video I'm going to show you how to actually build it, build this thing from scratch, uh, just in case, uh, you know, if I give you a, yes, somebody messes with the code or, you know, breaks, things do break, so I will show you how to actually build it and fix it if there is any issue. But I don't know if you guys are going to like it. I do like it personally. If you do like it, shoot me a, a comment and I will, uh, I will send, I'll send you a download link where you can get it. Thank you very much.